In this presentation, we will discuss adjustments to the standard unqualified audit report. In other words, these are going to be items that aren't going to pull us away from the unqualified opinion. We still got the unqualified opinion, but there's going to be adjustments to that unqualified opinion. And therefore, the report will be altered or adjusted, although not to a qualified report, still unqualified, still the highest report, the unqualified standard report, although the format of it will be adjusted for some of these items. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Bayer Dynamic, not sure if I said that right, but this is the DT770 Pro 250 OHM Studio Reference Closed Back Headphones. I wear headphones basically every day for a large part of the day. They are important to me, therefore I've gone through many different kinds of headphones. I've had these for some time and they've worked quite well. They fit over my ears, but I'm still able to put my glasses on under the headphones, the headphones not pinching too tight on the glasses to give me a headache, which is nice. The quality of the patting is good and it has lasted for some time. I've had these for some time now and they haven't gotten all torn up on me or anything like that. I also like that I have a cord when I'm doing my recordings as opposed to a USB centered headphone because that frees up a USB port and I find the USB headphones to be less reliable. They come with an audio jack that looks like this, which is useful for me because that plugs into my audio interface. However, if you want to use the headphones for some other purpose, I believe it's fairly easy to get a converter to other types of audio jacks. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. Note that as we go through these, some of these, such as the going concern, if we're very concerned about a going concern issue, we may have a qualification. We may qualify the report in some type of way. So it depends on the degree as to the going concern issue as to whether we keep a uh, unqualified report with a going concern in the language of the report or if we add some type of qualification to it, giving it. So notice the going concern issue is a concern that the company is going to keep on going in the long term if we if we have a concern that the company is going to go out of business in the short term then that's going to be a going concern issue something that we want to adjust and make people aware of opinion based on part of the report of another auditor so that could be the case that we did some audit for some of the of the audit and then some of the audit might have been done somewhere else for example if we had if we could not do an audit for part of the company that was done in another location such as another country because we don't have an office there then it's possible that someone else another auditor could do the audit of that particular component and help us out to complete the audit in that way but by doing that then of course we are dependent on an outside cpa firm and that needs to be stated within the financials within the report financial statements are not comparable so if there's a comparability problem with the financial statement that should be noted where icfr not required to be audited and auditor does not audit ICFR that's going to be the internal control so normally they're required to be audited if there's some kind of uh, issue where they're not required to be audited then that would be a modification to the report as well now we're going to consider a situation for working for an opinion based in part on the report of another auditor so we have a modification here we didn't complete the entire audit we had some component of the audit that needed to be done by another auditor in order for us to get that audit completed that's going to be the modification it is possible that parts of the audit are completed by a separate public accounting firm obviously if that's the case then we can't give the full opinion on that part that wasn't done by us and therefore we're going to have to have that modification the auditor might express an opinion without referring to the work on the other auditors in the audit report so we have a kind of a choice here we could say this was done by the audit of another firm if we don't reference the other firm uh, in that case 
the auditor accepts full responsibility for the work of the other auditor. So if we just basically say the other auditor is going to audit some component and uh, we're, we're not going to include them in our report, then we are accepting full responsibility. Now, typically, if someone other auditor was to conduct some significant component of the audit, we would typically mention that in the audit report. So that would be the other option, probably the more common option. When the principal auditor does reference the other auditors, the principal auditor is sharing responsibility for the audit report with the other auditors. And that's typically, you know, what you would think would basically happen because you want to share responsibility for the components that you might be responsible for and limit the responsibility. However, if you take full responsibility for it, then you're, you have more liability. Maybe, maybe you can uh, get paid more in that way. Maybe you can bill more. But I would think typically the situation would be the situation where you would reference that. That seems to be more uh, given full disclosure over what exactly happened as well. So here's going to be an example. Standard title and address. So we'd have the same kind of standard title and, op and address. Opinion section. It's going to be the same as the standard report. So same as the standard unqualified except for the addition of and the report of the other auditors. So we're obviously just going to include that within the opinion because it's not just our opinion, but also of the other auditors with regards to these areas. And the sentence stating auditor's opinion. So in this sentence, in our opinion, based on our audit and the report of the other auditors, so that's going to be the, the new component here, the consolidated financial statements are presented fairly in all material respects and so on and so forth. Additional paragraphs would look something like this. No, just this is just going to be an example of the type of language that might be included in the additional paragraph. It, of course, will be dependent on the circumstances. So we did not audit the financial statements of the subsidiary company. So we're going to say that, you know, in this case, we're going to say there's a subsidiary company. We didn't audit them. Uh, a wholly owned subsidiary, which, uh, which statements reflect total assets and revenue constituting 20% and 27% respectively of the related consolidated totals. Those statements were audited by other auditors whose report has been furnished to us and our opinion insofar as it relates to the amount included for the company is based solely on the report of the other auditor. So notice the, the, this paragraph is basically stating exactly what is going on there, gives basically approximations about what component was not audited and makes, it, makes that disclosure clear that it wasn't audited by us but that we're completely dependent on the, the audit work of another uh, firm. Basis for opinion section, same as the standard. So the basis for the opinion section would be the same as the standard unqualified, except for the addition of and the report of the other auditors in the conclusion sentence. We believe that our audit and the report of the other, other auditor provide a reasonable basis for our opinion. So obviously we're going to add our report and uh, the report by the other auditors. Here's an example of an unqualified report with an explanatory paragraph for going concern problems. So again, remember, it's still unqualified. We haven't changed it from unqualified, the highest standard uh, report, to a qualified report, but we are modifying it for this basic going concern problem. So this is just an example of the type of language which might be included. Explanatory paragraph, like the one below, is added after the opinion paragraph in the opinion section of the report. A reference to this uh, explanatory paragraph is included in the critical audit matters section. So substantial doubt about going concern assumption. The accompanying financial statements have been prepared, assuming that the company will continue as a going concern. As discussed in note eight, in the financial statements, the company has suffered reoccurring losses from operations and has a net capital deficiency that raises substantial doubt about its ability to continue as a going concern. Management plans in regards to these issues are to uh, described in note eight. The financial statements do not include any adjustments that might result from the outcome of this uncertainty. So that we're going to state basically remember that going concerns is a concern that the entity will not basically uh, be able to stay in in a long term within the long term in a business setting stay in business for a long term so we have the uh, explanatory or added or adjustment to the unqualified report in this case and of course we'll reference to the note which will give more detail about uh, you know, what, what, the, what the issue is and what management's intentions about how to resolve it will be. Sometimes the auditor will want to emphasize an issue. 
an auditor may want to draw spe uh, special attention to a particular issue. The auditor may choose to include an emphasis paragraph in the auditor's report. So if there's, a, if there's some kind of issue that the auditor thinks is important, then that might be another uh, format or way or thing or item that the auditor will adjust the standard unqualified report for.